Hey everybody, it's Brian here from Because Why Not, and as you can tell, I'm in my pajamas still. It's because I just woke up. Or maybe it's because I've been pretty lazy and have just stayed in my pajamas all day. Either way, today we're making hot Italian jardinere. It's a pickled vegetable, side, condiment, whatever you want to call it. It's spicy, it's vinegary, it's flavorful, it's delicious. And it goes on just about anything. So let's give it a try. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. We're going to start out with my little friend here. Let's just call him Monkey Mick Peels Vegetables Guy. Anyway, we're going to show you how to properly dice your vegetables into the correct size. Now you want all of your vegetables for this dish to be the same size so they all pickle the same, they have the correct texture and consistency, and your dish will just be better as a whole because of this consistency. You're going to start off, as you saw, with julienning a carrot and then dicing it into small pieces. Now you're going to do this exact same step with the green peppers, the red peppers, and then the celery, trying to keep them all one consistent size. You're going to do the same with some cauliflower florets, but this time instead of just dumping it all in, you're going to measure out one half cup and then only put that amount in. Continue your dicing with some hot peppers and some onion. Now after all of your vegetables are cut, you're going to place them in a bowl and then cover them with a bunch of salt. And yes, I mean a bunch. And don't worry, this is all going to get rinsed off eventually. This is just part of the process. Now that all of the salt is added, go ahead and mix it well, making sure that salt gets on every piece, and then you're going to add enough water to cover all of the vegetables. You want them completely submerged here. I like to give them a good final mixing here, just to make sure all of the salt is evenly distributed throughout the water. You know, it's just something you don't have to do, but I like to. The next step is to cover it with tin foil and put it in the refrigerator overnight, or for about 12 hours. The next morning, go ahead and take your jardinere out of the refrigerator, and you're going to want to strain all of that salty water off, and then rinse multiple times so all of the salt is off of the vegetables. While your vegetables are draining, we're going to move on to the next stage, which is grabbing a clean bowl, putting some olive oil in, some vinegar, and then your spices, which include black pepper, oregano, and crushed red pepper. Go ahead and take your olives now and dice them as small as the rest of your other vegetables. Then take a few cloves of garlic and dice them real small, a lot smaller than your vegetables, and then add them to your olive oil and vinegar mixture. Take your drained vegetables and add them to your olive oil mixture and go ahead and mix thoroughly. Like really mix this, don't just toss it once. You want everything coated in this spice and olive oil mixture. Using my patented zoom feature, you can see how pretty this looks. All of the pieces are roughly the same size and that's really just gonna make the texture really nice in this. Once this is all mixed up, go ahead and put it in the refrigerator for two days. Yes, that's right, this takes three days to make. Now, after the first day, go ahead and take it out, which is what you're looking at now. This is after the first day. And mix that up. You want all of that olive oil that's settled to the bottom to be redistributed over all of the vegetables. You want to moisten it up again. Make sure there are no dry pieces. If it is a bit dry on the second day, go ahead and add some olive oil to it and mix it up, just like I did. It doesn't hurt at all. At this point, after two days, it's completely done and ready to use in whichever way you want. In this example, I have it on some grilled steak with some steamed carrots. And honestly, this would work on just about any food. I've had it on chicken, steak, burgers, pizza, hot dogs, other sausages chips, pretzels, honestly, it's delicious, and it adds some spice, some kick, some vinegar to literally anything that you want. Thank you so much for watching my video. I implore you to try this recipe out and put it on any food, and I know you will love it. Please subscribe.